A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. In this video we are going to create an event calendar. To complete this task, we need to create some pages. This first page is an event report page, which is displaying the data of database table demo tasks. This second page is an event form page, through which we can modify existing events. And can also generate new events. On the calendar page when we click on a date number that event form page appears again. Changing the date number of an event, will move that event to the new date. Here we'll also create the drag and drop utility of events. This drag and drop action will change the date of an event in database also. Let's start creating this segment. First execute these following steps to add demo tasks table and its regarding data to the database. Now download the source code from this video description, then in part 11 folder you'll get the material used in the video. As you can see demo tasks table is created along with its sequence and a trigger, with zero errors. You can view this table in the database by expanding SQL workshop menu, then click object browser. These are the columns and data fields of this table. By clicking this data tab, we can see the existing data in this table. Now let's create the calendar page. If the start date or end date columns do not include time components, they will be shown as 12 am. Selecting the end date column will display the duration of events. If you want to also display the time portion of the date, then select yes for show time. Week and day views will only be displayed when show time is set to yes. After the creation of the calendar page, it's time to create event report and event form page.
After report and form page creation, let's check these pages. Now open calendar page 401 in the page designer. This supplemental information property displays the name of the user the task is assigned to. Selecting this CSS class column helps us to style the events using different colors. This step will help you to create a new task from within the calendar. This step assumes that you have already created event form page where we create a new task. This second step will help us to access to an existing task. When the user clicks an existing entry, the event form page will open. Save and run the page. Click Manage Event Entry. Create a new event by clicking any empty cell in the calendar. In the current scenario, status field have four option in the demo task table. Open, on hold, pending, and closed. You can use any one you like. The task is created in the demo tasks table and it is also reflected immediately here on the calendar. When you click the task, it opens in the events form where you can modify its contents. Here we are switching the event date from 16 to 17. As you can see, the event is successfully moved forward to the new date. Let's explore the last important part of the calendar segment, drag and drop. This column will hold the primary key value for our calendar events. Turn on this drag and drop switch. In this PL SQL code, the Apex dollar new start date substitution returns the revised start date. Apex dollar new end date returns the revised end date for duration based events, and Apex dollar PK value returns the value of the column specified in the primary key column. Refresh your browser's window. Now we are free to move our events anywhere. Drag and drop a task to some other date, and observe the change in the demo tasks table in the database. That's it for now. Hope this video was helpful and you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.